Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel. Today it is time for the Marguerite Miller Weekly Collage CW Planner number 43. But before we get started, just a quick uh, look at the giveaway stamps that I've been giving away for the month of October. We will be giving away 31 stamps in each little packet, so five packets in this um, giveaway. So they're all Australiana stamps. Basically, I bought a big pile of stamps. And now I'm going to give them all away because there's just way too many for one person to have. So I am looking for ways to give them away. And currently I am doing five packets of stamps on um, selected videos. And at this very moment, the Thrifty Thursday video is still up because you know while I'm filming, it was put up on Friday. There is a possibility. Go check it out that there's a second chance for you to enter. You can enter on this video and on the other video, but you will need to comment on both to be entered on both. So 31 stamps, five packets to give away on this video. And if you're quick, you might be able to get in on the Thrifty Thursday video as well. All you have to do is enter by comment below mentioning the stamps and you will be entered in a list and allocated a number. And then I will use the uh, comment picker to choose a, choose five winners and it's open international or Australian in about three days I will draw five winners and for the rest of the month there will be more videos with more packets of stamps so plenty of chances to enter and as each person wins they won't be able to win the stamps a second time so there'll be less people to win I assume unless more people find the video I don't know is that clear as mud? I hope so. <laughs> Let's get on with Marguerite Miller because if anyone's watching this in the future, they're going to be like, oh my goodness, I'm tired of seeing the stamps that I can't win because it's November. <laughs> Sorry to those people in November that might watch the videos and you can't win. My apologies. Let's get on with it. Okay, quick flip through as I usually do. 29, 30, 31, 32, 32, 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So this is a piece that I definitely want to use. So let's have a look at the things that you need. The first thing you need for the uh, challenge, something that represents spring. And this is on the back of a Daphne's Diary magazine. And I've loved this image for so long. And it's got this cute little little birdie on the corner there so I want to make this work so this is the base of my one today something ornate so I've got these pieces of the edge of a plate where people you know paint plates um I thought they had two of those where's the other one gone well oh <laughs> I have this nifty new system, which is meant to mean that I don't lose things. This is the nifty new system. It's a box. <laughs> well, it's one of those stand-up things. I guess it was originally for letters. I picked this up in an op shop recently, and I thought it might be quite handy for something. So what I've put in there is all my um, choices for this video. And also I can put it in the back slot choices for future videos. See those ears? In a future video, this one will turn up because it says something with long ears. So I saw this picture and thought, right, I'm going to pull that out because in two or three weeks' time, I won't remember where it was. <laughs> anyway, distracted again. There's the other plate picture. So there's these two ornate plates. I have this, I have a bundle of these gold items. They came from AliExpress and I thought they were very ornate. But I actually think I like the butterfly. So I've got these if the plates don't work. So they're in the box. So that's my ornate. I'm not saying that's how it's going. I have no idea how it's going. It's just <laughs> these are the pieces I've chosen. A shoe. Oh, well, I didn't like the shoe idea. So I just picked up this little tiny weeny shoe out of uh, Antiquarian sticker book. I'm hoping not to use it. Or I have actually had another idea. I had another idea last night, but... I haven't looked for it yet, so I may have to pause the video and look for that. Something stenciled. Well, because I'm using this beautiful paper, I actually don't want a stencil on it. It has a pattern in the background, and I just love it the way it is. So I'm not really too sure. I can stencil the number on somewhere, 43. 
but I would do that in gold. So I'm not sure about the stenciling and tea bag cover. Well, I have I have this peppermint and lime tea bag, which has got a green cover. So I'm thinking about using that somewhere as grass kind of thing. Photo or portion of a photo. So my photo is this mummy sheep. So that's who I'm having as a as my photo. And so therefore I do want to use these, which I've already cut out. Where's the other half? They came out of here. Just fussy cut them out. Um, so they're going to go in somewhere. And so then I've got and I've also got these little decorative items, which are quite ornate. So they might go in the corners. I've got little ones and bigger ones. And I've also got this strip, which I might need to use down this side because this page is not quite big enough. So I've got a gap there. So I'm thinking this is a sticker. I'm thinking that that might, so I want to take the edges off. Let me cut it off one second. So this is kind of how it'll look. Which way does it go that way? So I thought that might go down there, but we've got a problem like we had with this one. I already tried that with this. I took off the top puffy part and it tore the bottom, so I now have to stick that back on there. So if I have to do that for all of those, it could be annoying. So I'm hoping to try to... Sometimes these things come straight off, but these ones apparently very, very sticky. So I'm going to have to peel those off and then stick this one back down on top to make it flat because otherwise I'll never shut the book ever again. I think what I'd like to do first, I think this time it's fairly easy in the sense that I've already decided on these pieces. It's just a matter of arranging them on the page in a pleasing manner. Let's cut, I'll, I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll fiddle with this and I will trim this up and yeah, I think that's what we can start with, eh? All right, back in a moment. wasn't supposed to use such thick pages on this book. I'm hoping to make it last till the end. But I like this image so much. Well, if I have to start a new book just for December, <laughs> then I will. Of course, speaking of December, remember that Marguerite Miller has her glue book, Christmas glue book. I'm not too sure it has a real name. I'll put a link. But there's a link in my in all the last two videos. There'll be a link. Um, below for Marguerite Miller's Christmas book so make sure that you check that out do it on here so so that you can do the uh, Marguerite Miller uh, Christmas December daily kind of thing Christmas daily December daily I don't know I think she's just called I don't know what she's calling it Christmas glue book I think so that go there encroaching in but we probably won't glue those down just yet just in case I need room. Now I'd like my sheep to go in the bottom right hand corner, but I do need to add, so we end up with a little bit of a yellow edge, which would be nice anyway. So just a little bit there. And the chicken, no, not a chicken. <laughs> the mummy sheep. He goes, she goes, can't be a he, can she? She goes down there, so she's going to go underneath that pattern. If we're having that going down that side, we could have this at the corner. And then we've got these ornate plates. So we may not need those, we'll see. Um, we do need to put, because of the damage on there, so they will go on like that. And we have the shoe. So unless we just have the shoe walking in. I did have a little bit of an idea with this. So don't go away yet because this is not this is not permanent. I've got to glue that down there. I did have what I was, it was before I had this strip. So let's just remove the strip for now because we can always just use the strip where we need it. So the strip doesn't have to come this far down. I was wanting how did it work? <laughs> um maybe it wasn't that one. It was this one. Let's try this. So that it looks like he's poking out, she looks like she's poking out through the plate. So I quite like that. Kind of gives her a, instead of just a plain flower border, maybe we can just use the flower border up here. It might be okay. 
into a straight in into a full long line. In fact, you may be able to just use these pieces. I do sort of need them to cover up that other thing, those other things, but maybe I don't. But do we like that corner better than the butterfly? Mm, I think I might like the butterfly. You know, we've got a bit too many flowers. Hmm, butterfly adds a bit of variety to all the flowers, and of course, he won't look so white because the the it will blend in. Oh, I think I like that better. So therefore, we can have it. You know, it won't matter where the, what part of the green is showing, and we'll pull it out, and it'll be on that side. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. If it sticks to the silver paper, we'll use the trusty art glitter glue. Not that it matters, it's on the inside. Okay, now I can't forget. As long as I don't glue it down. Let's just stick this down, because I like this. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm actually going to fussy cut. All right, that's down. That took a lot longer than I expected. Having dinner, back shortly. Okay, I'm back. I had a thought while I was out. Little Bo Peep might be a good idea. Now, she's probably not Little Bo Peep, but she looks a bit like it. So I think that she could be Little Bo Peep who went out picking flowers. And that's why she lost her sheep. <laughs> because she was busy picking flowers. And she's never admitted that in any of the nursery rhymes ever as to why she lost her sheep. Now we know. So, but this gap here... Um, I don't like it because it just, just doesn't look right now. So what I'm going to try and do is fussy cut around this sheep, lamb, and then move him across. But I need, I want her in there. I want her right on the edge. I don't think that'll work. So we've got all the other flowers. Although the basket does look like those flowers, but I don't think that's going to work with those flowers. We've got too many different types of flowers. No. Just checking what else is in my basket. Oh, we've got this nice green field. Oh, I wonder if we can just cut the sheep out and forget the, the grass they're on. Well, I'd like her to be in. Well, I need her for the shoe. So we might have to get rid of the chicken. Oh. Oh, well. I just need her to be in the meadow, I think. I think that's quite nice. And then we have... The lamekins, we might fussy cut the lamekins so they can be in this meadow. Okay, let's fussy cut the sheeps. I'll be back. Alright, well we've got one lamekin in, but I'm not too sure whether we can get any more in. These mummy sheep. I was looking at the basket of flowers. Well, if it was a goat, then goats would be it's certainly interested in eating those <laughs> flowers. Not a goat, so I guess it doesn't matter. And this just goes in here. So it's stenciling. Um, I found my gold ink. And the only stencil I can find. I can't find any of my stencils. Except this childhood one. Childish type one. Childish child children's one. I'm not too sure if I have any more numbers anyway. I have number stamps, but I just don't think I have too many stencils that off and then just make it a little bit less of a corner and more of a yeah more of a kind of a thing like this which so I could just use that <laughs> I don't know let me just go back I'll delete all this and you can you'll only get you'll get the final version let's just fussy cut this off so I can see what it looks like okay That cute little bubble on there, might as well. I think that's enough. It's just a bit of trim on the edge of the page. And then whether we have so in the corner, not really. No, nope. a little flower. You know, whether 
we can change the basket of flowers to be the same as the ones in the corner. That might balance it better, I think. It's kind of like what we did on another one. This one here, we changed the flowers to make it uh, fit the page better and look better because it was very non-committal. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll make a new bunch of flowers, something like that. There we go. I think that uh, works better because it allow you know it gives a reason for that to be there. And all right, what are we up to as far as sticking things down? Mm. <laughs> this is where I get stuck because there's so many metal pieces. I think. We will create our little girl's flower basket first. I'm just going to put this here so that we can work on this more easily. Okay, so to do this, I think I will, well, let's first of all cut off the flowers we don't want. We need to keep her sleeve. All right, so we've now got a smaller basket. We'll have uh, that one. It's got a bit of a stem. And so now they're kind of like, yep. Yeah. And so maybe, just maybe we won't have it quite that. Oh uh, yeah, I think that might be better. Oh. Oh yes. Yes, yes. Okay. All right, let's glue that down. Um, it's got this funny edge. I think we might trim that out. We have a pretty bow peep. Then it's a case of then do I cut the feet out of the sheep or leave them with their little bits of grass? I am going to have a cup of tea and stare at the screen like I do back shortly. I have adjusted things a little bit. I was playing around with putting these roses in here to cover up the wheelbarrow. And uh, then I found this extra piece of spring. I like, I like the idea that we've got the, uh, the chicky egg back. I moved her over this side to see if I liked that better. She can just sort of fit in there next to the sheep. And I found her a crook. A shepherd's crook, so the other girl wasn't using it. I stole her feet too. <laughs> but the feet didn't work. She's facing the wrong way. She's crying. I did think about having her, but... She's a crybaby, so we're not having her. <laughs> I like this happy girl. She's pretty and happy. So she gets her crook because she's in a better mood. And uh, But she's got boring shoes. Tried to find her some better shoes. She's got the cane. It sort of looked like she's hooking it over her arm like that carrying it with her yeah I tried to give her uh, these shoes which I've lost the other one now around here somewhere but didn't <laughs> her feet would be turned out the wrong way so that didn't work um, and I can't go through every page of every children's book looking for some suitable feet <laughs> yeah so the feet doesn't work and that was the other idea was that didn't work because of this it would have worked if this went right to the edge of the page and I could have this flowery one coming in and I had a ball somewhere um, well I could still do that hang on just have to reorganize things a bit where's the little ball gone there's the little ball I don't want him kicking the sheep that doesn't look good it was like it was kicking the ball to the sheep. <laughs> um, 
and the flowers match. I don't think it came from the same page. Because they're actually butterflies and they're flowers, but they match beautifully. So um, do, I do like that idea. And so this, to tuck, I would have to tuck it this way. Because I need that, I would need that to go on the edge of the page for it to, to look right. So she hasn't got new shoes. She'll have to make do with the shoes she's got. Oh, maybe I could colour them. Yeah, maybe I'll just colour them pink. And then it'll stand out a bit better. See, that just meets his ear. We have the shoe just right on the edge of the page. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I love it when things work out perfectly. <laughs> Alright, let's give her some pink shoes. Colouring in always is always fun. Kind of work except that doesn't want to go on the glue. That's better. Okay. Just outline that. Um, oh, I've got to cut around that bow. Oops. Uh, that wasn't what I meant. Oh well. It's on there now. If I take it off, I'll probably ruin it. Okay. So we can go a little bit around this hat that we missed earlier. Okay. Miss anything else? I'll go around the bottom of her dress. That matches the rest of the outfit. And there we go. Don't normally do this, but I think it kind of needs it. Okay, all right. Oh, you know what I can do? Hmm, I wonder if I can. Might mess it up. I'll practice on a, a bit of this green. Oh, yeah, well, that might be better. Okay, here we go. Let's just do it on that little tiny bit to start with. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't used this since... Oh my God, when did I last use this? I can't remember. Liquid paper. I was so... I remember when it first came out. And I was like, oh wow. Because when I first started, when I was a typist, when I was first a typist, right at the very beginning, I had to use an eraser. Get rid of your mistakes, but I don't know. Then liquid paper came out, and it was like oh, heaven, heaven. Especially as I was not an accurate typist, <laughs> and my boss he used to um, instead of reading the original, you know, the um, the top copy of the letter I typed, he would always. <laughs> He would always read the carbon copy so you could see all the mistakes. Hated that. Just like you know, just look at the pretty one. That's the one that's going out to the customer. The rest going in a file. It doesn't matter. You don't need to look at that one. <laughs> but no. He knew the tricks. He wanted to see how good I was. <laughs> how many mistakes I made. 
lots. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Typists tricks. Liquid paper. Thank God I didn't take three hours to choose my pieces because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to spend five hours <laughs> playing with them. All right, let's find somewhere else to tuck this. Let's tuck him in here. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to turn him at an angle like that. Okay, there's only one place for this to go because it's just going right on the edge. There. That's not glued down because that's a tuck spot. Okay. That should be glued down. And then this just tucks over the top slightly and now the sheep can go down all right we can now tuck this in I guess we can hardly see it we don't want to see it I don't like it <laughs> okay and then that's going to go there so now I need I need to make him a bit stiffer because he's going to be quite we'll put him on some card I think And put the ball in the middle with a glue stick. <laughs> and that, glue stick that on. We've only got the flowers to do, really, I think. Oh, that's right, because we had that shoe, we didn't have to have that shoe. Oh, well, we've got three shoes now. <laughs> All good. All good. This one's a lot thinner. There we go. Okay, now I can slot the roses underneath. Okay. Something like that. I think that butterfly is perfectly round, got a perfectly round head. Seems to be the perfect place for it. It's going there. Yeah, did I cut up one <laughs> that I'm supposed to be using? That would be right. Yeah, nice. Okay, start from the top. These are the ones that I don't have. Don't have um, glue. No sticky back, so we have to glue it. Mm. Gonna make sure that close the book. Yep. All right, we're getting somewhere. Just this little part here. So for this, I think we'll start with this one. Bit of wheelbarrow. And so is this one. This one's yep, it's like the blue. Okay, I think we're done. There we go. This is definitely spring. I can say that. It's what I wanted. I wanted it to look nothing but spring. <laughs> so CW planner number 43, something that represents spring. Well, we've got our lambs, our flowers, flowers everywhere. In, and our sheep who gave birth to the lambs. Oh, our little chickadee. <laughs> something ornate we've got an ornate butterfly and we have an ornate plate 
and an ornate flowers with the little gold dots on them. I don't know whether you can see them. I'll zoom in. Well, I'll try lifting it up and see whether it shows you how they've got little gold speckles on them. Maybe it's more noticeable on that one. <laughs> yeah, you can see the little gold dots around the edge of the flowers. So that was ornate. A shoe. We have one, two, three. Ended up with three. Didn't really want any, but in the end that worked out okay. <laughs> Happy with the three shoes that we have. Uh, something stencil we didn't do. I can't couldn't find a number stencil that was small enough to just put a little 43 on here. So no stenciling. Tea bag cover. We have our twinings, peppermint and lime, which is holding the notes. And the bonus is a photo or a portion of a photo. And we have our mummy sheep. And that just tucks in out of the way. <laughs> a little bit of green tea bag that you can hardly notice is there. It was spring and all the flowers were blooming. So little Bo, Bo Peep took herself off to collect flowers and the mummy sheep's going, where are you going? What are you doing? Does that mean I have to look after the lambs? So the lambs go, we're, we're fine. We're playing football with this clown. <laughs> where is the clown? I mean, he looks like the joys of spring too, doesn't he? I mean, you know, he could have made it in, I suppose, but no. I just wanted a foot coming in off the edge, playing football with the lambs or soccer, whatever you want to call it. Um, what else? Did I do them all? Right, so that's the story. Little Bo Peep didn't lose her sheep. She went picking flowers, <laughs> left the mummy sheep in charge and the chickadee and they all looked after the little lambs. And, uh, of course, there was a clown nearby playing football, so, of course, no one's scared of clowns, are they? He doesn't look too scary. He looks quite friendly, except now he's only got one leg. Oh, well. If ever I needed a one-legged clown, I will keep him in my basket. Uh, also, I do think it matched in with um, last week's reasonably well. I chose, you know, the purple, those those flowers kind of like tone in together nicely. We've got the bright yellow bird. Um, and yeah, so it doesn't clash. It doesn't match, but it doesn't clash. Oh, I think it's actually lovely. I actually love it. I've been wanting to use this Daphne's Diary background for so long. And I only just got the butterflies from AliExpress. So I was happy to find a place to put a butterfly. They're so shiny and nice. I love it. Well, yep, I think we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please enter the giveaway for the stamps. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.